Alrighty, Omar. Don't think I forgot. I see the belt. I see it. It's right there. Yeah. Uh, the belt from last year's Vegas event. It is made it on the shelf. What do you think? Man, I got to be there this year. I'd have to. I mean, I didn't. I w you gave me the. You told me not to come for real yeah. because she's pregnant. We're about to have our baby, and mm -hmm. Luciano Gustavo was born on the fifteenth of February. Yeah, and I I didn't get to receive that from you, but everybody else you know brought it to me, and it was cool. It was yeah. a you know, and you, and you, what you did for me not being there, which was pretty cool. We got the video and congratulations, yeah. and that was awesome. So if I could bring the baby and the family, that'd be that'd be epic. That'd be epic. So I'm going to try to figure it out, man. So tell yeah. us about the schedule. Yeah. So this is important to me. One of the things I've been working on is trying to trying to put together a flow. I want to have new speakers. I want to have some surprise speakers. I want to, I want to respect the people that I talk to every week, like yourself. I want to make sure you got some sun. Uh, I want to provide value for the community. So I want to run a draft agenda by you and see Let's what you go. think. Okay. Yeah. All right, so this is the two-day celebration. Uh, we'll scroll up a little bit. So again, kind of lay of the land for you here. Um, my events are different. Uh, every speaker that you will see here gets 50 minutes. Usually it's 25 minutes of a presentation. And then they take questions from the audience, right? The people that are coming to this event are on my channel, are, are big in the industry. So I want the audience who's spending hundreds or potentially thousands of dollars to come to have the opportunity to line up and ask questions, mm -hmm. right? Second, nobody will be selling anything at this event, including me, no discounts, no this, no that nonsense. Uh, the, the audience did ask me to have some books. So maybe I'll have some books this time in a, you know, maybe, maybe not, but no selling. It's all about a celebration, right? Last year was a celebration of 50,000. This is year two celebration of ORAT. So again, it's all about the audience. So here we go. It, it's going to open very, just open remarks with me, five, 10 minutes, kind of lay of the land, restrooms, where's food, what's the flow of the day, you know, where are the microphones, you know, just all of that stuff. And then we jump into it. Topic number one is going to be a couple. What I'm doing is on both Saturday and Sunday is I'm having a husband and wife get up and revisit the entire journey. Oh, wow. Talk. Talk about, you know, last year, Jason and Jen Pritchard, they had old emails and old texts talking about their first house or their fifth house or, you know, just those old conversations about budgeting and just, re you know, funny stories about, you know, when you did this or that. Because I think it's important for the audience who a lot of people will be coming as a couple to see what the future might look like. Mm -hmm. And again, we're going to have both these on Saturday and Sunday. So we're going to have a couple get up, talk about that journey. And then topic number two is I'm having a young man uh, who got who earned financial freedom, never made a lot of money. He worked at a movie theater making like seven or eight bucks an hour. He started wow. an eBay flipping store to, to generate cash. And um, he retired financially free. And he's been on my channel once or twice. I follow him on X or Twitter. But he's going to come out and just basically tell everybody it's possible. Right. You don't have to make a hundred grand. You don't have to make 200 grand. You know, you can make seven bucks in a movie theater if you make some, some choices. Um, so those are going to be the first kind of topics. And then we head into our first break. Cause again, this event's going to be 400 people. Uh, Oof. yeah. We're, we're, and it's a family, right? You, you know, this, when you look at the comments, the same yeah. people watch the same people do all this. So people are going to network and, and, you know, mature uh, friendships. We're going to have name cards this time, badges. I didn't do that last time. Um, so yeah, we head into the first break. Then we're going to have another person who's been in the journey. Who's who earned financial freedom with 18 units, right? Who's, whose focus was never to be the biggest. In fact, this person will tell you about, he wants the least units possible, right? You know, it's not about a hundred, a thousand, 10,000. It's like, you know, dude, I'm, uh, I'm late in life and this is all about choices and opportunity now. And, and the least amount of headache for the most amount of money which I think mm -hmm. will be a fun conversation. And then there's the 90 minute millionaire panel. This is where my millionaires who don't have like direct speaking spots will get time, right? Everybody who's up there, like if Ty comes or Adrian comes or you come or Casey, um, 
you'll be, you'll, you'll be up there because you're on my channel so often the audience feels like your family. So you're going to be up there taking questions from the audience, giving, you know, taking a topic or two. Uh, but everybody who's been on my channel will have time in the sun. So this is what I call the millionaire panel. So there'll be four, five, six people up. Jason Pritchard will be up there, for example. He's coming with his wife, Jen. And then we go to the first networking. There'll be a two-hour networking. Uh, the VIP section will be up in its own room. That's where the VIPs are and the, the speakers will go to get food. I will also be feeding all of the general admission this time. I did not do that last time. It was a huge mistake. I'm I'm stepping up and spending a lot more money feeding general admission. Uh, and then right after lunch, uh, to make sure everybody's back in their seats, I'm bringing on a surprise guest, uh, something uh, that the audience has asked for and never heard from. So I'm bringing in a surprise guest, a surprise speaker. Then I'm going to bring somebody in who was actually a lawyer, somebody who went to law school, somebody who practiced law for six or seven years who ultimately decided that wasn't the life they wanted and they left it and they became an entrepreneur and they became a real estate investor. So we're going to talk about those transitions. So how's this feel Sweet. so far? It, it, it feels good. I mean, the initial, the break, you know, and then I, I like the, uh, I really like the, the lazy landlord because yeah. that there I think is going to be like, Hey, I don't need a hundred doors. Right. I can, I can get 10, 12. Yeah. Whatever you're at on fi your financial level and what's going to get you to not work, be financially yeah. free, spend more time with your family, et cetera, et cetera, yeah. uh, that the millionaire panel is going to be cool. That surprise speaker, I have no idea who that would be. I'll tell um, you after we stop recording. No problem. Um, <laughs> the the I think that the lead big corporate job as well. And I think that, you know, you're, you're going to get into this uh, awards and recognition, which is awesome. And then. Yeah. yeah. So, so far, yeah, the award, so far it feels pretty good. So something else I'm doing again, spending more money is I want to recognize the audience. When you build a community like one rental at a time, there's a handful of people that go the extra mile. These are followers. These are, these people may have been on my channel once or twice, but they're really followers. They're consumers. But a lot of people have helped me set up interviews. They're active participants in the school community. So I don't know how many of these I'm going to give out somewhere between five and 10 probably. But there are going to be people that I call up on the stage that are hopefully surprised to get some recognition from the audience, get some appreciation from me, get a gift from me just to thank them for being awesome. Uh, this is something I should have done last year and didn't. It was a mistake of mine. But yeah, we are going to do awards and recognition, uh, then a break and then a keynote. Uh, I haven't locked down the keynote yet. I told you earlier who I want it to be, hopefully in the next week or so. We locked that down. But, dude, day one's 12 hours. Eight to dude, eight. This is, hey, eight. I, I don't know how. Like, this is absolutely – oh, after the dinner. I was like, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so it's over at 6, but then you have the dinner network. Networking dinner again and then celebration, and we'll do cake and cupcakes like last time. But, yeah, day one's 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. We don't mess around. And, again, this is off strip. So you're not going to get distracted by casinos and buffets and shows. We're not? No, you're not. You're okay, not going okay, anywhere. Okay, fine, 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 fine. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I love it. <laughs> All right, so day two, kind of the same flow, except we end at six. We don't have that dinner. Uh, open remarks again. Again, day two kicks off with a couple. This couple has done six, seven, eight house hacks and earned ah. financial freedom, right? They did that just by, they earned financial freedom by house hacking. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to have somebody come up and talk about out-of-state investing because, again, that's something that a lot of people do. I think you can do it right. It's not for everybody, but we're going to talk about it. Then we have a break. Then, like last year, we had Sean Connell, who you've been lucky enough to meet with, uh, come up and talk about building a brand and YouTube and uh, all of that. So I'm going to have somebody else who started up a podcast uh, in, in the last year and is over, already over 100,000 subs and all of that. Uh, wow. So we're going to have somebody that's else awesome. talk about how they do that. And again, remember, folks, he's going to come up and talk for 20, 25 minutes, and then you get to line up and ask questions of this legend. Um, so again, it's it's really cool. And again, like like the first day where we had the millionaire panel, I have lenders and tool providers on my channel. So they're going to get a chance to sit in the sun. Tool panel like Hemlane or Resi Club. Lenders like Matt the Mortgage Guy, Convoy, Velocity. They're going to get up because, again, they're on the channel. They contribute. They're going to get a chance to be on stage. Then we go to lunch networking. 
Then we're going to have another surprise speaker. Uh, somebody who, you know, the odds said were not going to be successful. And they're going to show with a couple of small tweaks, plan, a pivot. Uh, they became financially free when, frankly, the, the system said they shouldn't. Then I'm going to bring in a preacher, a mental health professional, a pastor, to talk about how to manage your mental health, how to how to really leverage social media, how to check yourself to make sure you stay healthy. Because again, I know these events you get all rah rah and buzz and all of that, um, but you know sometimes we got to check ourselves to make sure we have the tools to be better. I do have currently an open spot. I've got four or five people I'm thinking to put in there. One of them is Anna Kelly, uh, who I who doesn't sound like can make it, but I am kind of soft saving a spot. We'll have a break and then I will get up with my closing thoughts. So that's kind of day one, day two. Nice. I think day two, day two, day one, obviously is going to be like the breaker. Like that's like, yeah. boom, give all the value. Second is going to be also value. I just, you know, two days, two days is going to be awesome. Yeah. And then something else I did that I don't think you saw, but maybe Adrian and Ty told you is I'm also going to spend about 12 grand creating a podcast room where you can come in and allocate only my, only my millionaires can do this. This is only the people that are on my channel. This is a way for me to give back to you. You can allocate time to be a host. So you can say, Hey, give me an hour. I want to record some content. I'm going to interview this. I'm going to interview that. And I'm going to lock down hours. So people can oh, record some content. So that's cool. And then we can have guests and stuff too. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm getting like, for example, I could give you 12 to one on day one, but it would be your job to allocate who you want to interview. Uh, basically I've got the guys, I've got the cameras, I got the video. I'm going to give you this hour. It's your chance to use it as you see fit. Like uh, Jason and um, uh, Jason, actually Ty, I got to write this in. Ty wanted an hour. So Ty's going to get an hour. Let's, uh, yeah, let's give him an hour. Actually, let's not give, yeah, let's do this. That's fine. So we'll give him an hour here. So he's going to get, he's going to find two guests. He's going to do two 30 minute guests uh, and create some, and then I'm going to give him the content as a thank you. So he can chop up post however he wants. So. Oh, that's cool. Then yeah, that's, that's going to be like, uh, yeah. So he's coming day two or is he coming day no, one? I, I'm hoping days? he's there both, both days. Um, he's going to be speaking day one. He's part of the millionaire panel. Uh -huh. um, he's up here on day one, the millionaire panel. Um, but yeah, that might gonna... be a day that I go yeah. Yeah. on that one day. Yeah. And, and so. the first day, um, Mike. Yeah. Yeah. First day is be... going to be the 15th. Correct. 15th. Yes. That's that Saturday. That is yeah, his that's birthday. <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't know. I don't know if you can swing it. Wow! Oh, and sorry. unless we make we make his first birthday at the freaking event, that'd be pretty dope. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll, we'll set up a little room. We'll bring him presents. We'll have cake. You know, dude, that that'd be sick. I mean, I, you I, know I what? couldn't I, do that. Uh, you know what? No. So he, uh, I already know. So dinner networking six to eight. They will be creating cupcakes and a uh, sheet. You know, ORAT celebration. I will pay to get him a birthday cake. Birthday cake created. If you commit to coming. He will have an epic birthday cake at the event. And we'll all sing a happy <laughs> be, birthday. That would be cool. That would be cool. Yeah. But at, at yeah. the end, dude, I, I know it's going to be tough. You got family, first birthday. Wife's oh. birthday is right around there. You got a lot going on. Hers but is the wanted, 17th, yeah. Yeah, dude. It's, it's all right there. So um, you've been to a lot of events. You've thrown events. Mm -hmm. What do you think of this flow? What do you think of kind of the presentations, uh, the Q and A, the networking? No, I, I I like it. That's the thing. It's like you know, connections are always made in the networking, um, because you could go to an event and just get beat down by information, uh. But I like the fact that it's if the keynote or not even the keynote, if the speaker is is having twenty minutes, and then you can pick their brains for another twenty yes. minutes. That's perfect because giving so much information out and then damn, I want to ask this, I want to ask that. That's where the rest of the crew or the rest of the audience will get more value is if you break it up and then ask immediately after the small 20-minute session. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Again, top of mind. I think it's, again, I've only seen one other person ever do this. It was actually Gary V did this once for one of his events where he just took questions from the audience. Um, I think it's, again, the purpose of the event is a celebration. 
to recognize the year that's gone by, the growth of the community, the growth in, in units and in deals. The, the goal is to answer questions, foster friendships, grow networks. Um, it's most people, let's be honest, in our space, most people do events as lead generation, as a selling yes. event. Yeah. I'm not doing that. It's it's a celebration of the community. That's what I see this. That's why we're doing awards. That's why we're spending money on food and desserts and, and all of that. It's it's celebrating the community. I love it. Yeah. Freaking love it, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be epic. Yeah. And again, I, I, I just it's always gonna be President's Day weekend because what I like about President's Day weekend is Monday's Monday. a holiday. Yeah. So people yeah. can travel home. Right. It's, yeah, uh, and 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 that's why it's the Saturday and Sunday, and jeez, yeah. <laughs> jeez, I know. You know what? I, I I would literally have to be like, hey, listen, we're going to Vegas. We're gonna spend. We're gonna go to the Sphere. We're gonna do all this other stuff. Yes, for all of us. And for two hours, right. I get to come, and you know, you can see us, and then hopefully yeah. the girls are gonna be awesome, or we get babysitters, or we bring someone. I don't yeah. know. It's it's a lot, but yeah. We would love to see you. I completely understand the date is like horrible for you. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you were in my shoes, Michael, you'd be uh, like, I'm I would, not going I anywhere. wouldn't even, yeah, I'm not going. I can't go. I mean, I would tell you, I'd be like, I want to go, but I can't go. Yeah. First birthday. Yeah, I get it, dude, I get it. I, like last year, I told you, dude, your wife's pregnant. Don't come. You're not invited. I de-invited you. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> All right, we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. All right, man. Well, take care of yourself. Thank you for doing this. I always appreciate the feedback and love. Where can people find you? you guys, follow me on IG at Invest with Omar or my YouTube at Omar Alfaro. Thanks, buddy. Later. Yeah.